For many people, the plants and animals that inhabit our ocean seem like they're from another planet. Let's have a look at nine of the world's strangest sea creatures. Today's video was done in collaboration with What Lurks Below. Stay tuned till the end for a preview of their channel. This sea anemone bears a superficial resemblance to the Venus flytrap. It's a deep sea species that captures its prey by closing its tentacles. The tentacles are also used for protection. It is commonly found in the deep water canyons of the Gulf of Mexico. The Venus flytrap sea anemone is a suspension feeder that orients itself in the direction of the upwelling current by extending its tentacles in two rows, one sloping forward and one extending back to collect food particles as they drift past. The large funnel or mushroom shaped oral disc is used to consume its food. Although it's a sessile creature, meaning it's rendered immobile due to the lack of self locomotion, it can move sometimes as a juvenile. Number 8 The Dumbo Octopus the Grimpotoithus, also known as Dumbo Octopus, draws its name from the prominent ear-like fins protruding from its mantle, thus bearing a resemblance to Dumbo, Walt Disney's flying elephant. It is the pelagic umbrella octopus that typically lives at depths of 10,000 to 13,000 feet below, although some specimens have been recorded living at more than 23,000 feet below sea level, the deepest of any known octopus species. The largest Grimpotorthus specimen ever recorded weighed approximately 13 pounds and measured in at 5.9 feet in length. Despite being the rarest octopod species, Dumbo octopi occur worldwide in the waters of Papua New Guinea, Monterey Bay, New Zealand, Australia, the Philippines, the Azores, and Martha's Vineyard. The Dumbo octopus has a distinct swimming habit. It propels itself by by flapping its ears like fins. Additionally, it uses its arms to lay eggs, capture prey, or crawl along the sea floor. It typically hovers above the sea floor searching for prey, which mainly consists of pelagic isopods, copepods, amphipods, and other crustaceans. After it pounces on its prey, the Dumbo octopus swallows it whole. The Grimpotoithus species has an average lifespan of three to five years. Number 7. Sea Angels Sea angels are a group of very small swimming sea slugs belonging to the gymnosomata clade. They have a wide geographic distribution and may be found in regions ranging from tropic seas to polar areas. They are mostly transparent, gelatinous species. The sea angels that live in warmer areas are usually far smaller than those living in cold regions. They use their tentacles to grasp their prey and are equipped with terminal mouths with radiolae or anatomical structures somewhat similar to tongues that are common in mollusks. They swim at speeds of up to 100 millimeters per second, faster than their main prey, the Cosomata, also known as the sea butterfly. Sea angels move around by using their swimming appendages that bear the resemblance to wings. It is still unclear whether their appendages are actually used as wings or rowing paddles. The Cleone Antarctica, a large polar species of angel synthesizes a molecule called pteranone to defend itself against predators. This secretion protects the sea angel from being consumed by predators. One amphipod species will often seize a Cleon Antarctica individual from the water column and carry it around for protection. Some sea angel species are ambush predators while others actively pursue their prey. Fertilization for sea angels occurs internally due to the fact that these creatures are simultaneously hermaphrodites. During spawning, a gelatinous egg mass is released, after which the eggs float freely until they hatch. Number 6. The Squidworm 
Toothed drillis, also known as the squid worm, was first discovered by marine biologists in the Celebes Sea in October of 2007. It is a unique, transitional creature that has the behavioral and physical characteristics of both free-swimming organisms and seabed-dwelling animals. Its most distinguishable physical feature is the tentacle-like appendages protruding from its head. Ten of these tentacles are commonly around the same length or or longer than the squid worm's body. Opposite of the tentacles are six pairs of feathery sensory organs that enable the squid worm to smell and taste underwater. This creature feeds on pieces of what is known as marine snow, a mix of microscopic animals and plants, cast off mucus, and fecal matter. It is an upright swimmer that uses two rows of paddle-shaped protrusions resembling cascading dominoes. Number 5. The Frilled Shark The frilled shark belongs to the Chlamydosaceidae family and is one of two extant species found widely distributed along the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. This deep sea creature has been deemed a living fossil due to the fact that it exhibits several primitive features and also because it has had little history of evolution over millions of years. Some experts believe that its lineage can be traced back to at least the late Cretaceous period and perhaps even the late Jurassic Jurassic period. It can reach up to 6.6 .6 feet long with an eel-like body of a dark brown color and pelvic, dorsal, and anal fins placed in the far back. Its broad head is flattened and features a short, rounded snout. The frilly appearance of the shark's six pairs of gill slits is what gives the creature its name. Their long jaws are extremely flexible, enabling them to swallow their prey whole. Their numerous rows of small, sharp teeth numbering approximately 300 in total, make it almost impossible for their prey to escape. It is believed that frilled sharks hunt and capture their prey by bending their bodies and lunging forward, employing a technique similar to that used by snakes. They mainly feed on cephalopods. Although the presence of a frilled shark below 4,000 feet is considered uncommon, the lowest depth at which one has been discovered was approximately 5,100 feet below. Number 4. The Christmas Tree Worm the Spirobranchius giganteus, also known as the Christmas tree worm, is a tube-building worm belonging to the Serpulidae family. It has a segmented, tubular body lined with small appendages called cheta that aid a worm's mobility. One of its most notable features consists of two chromatically hued spiral structures shaped like Christmas trees and that the worm uses for feeding and respiration. These structures feature radials, which are feather-like tentacles and are heavily ciliated. Whenever prey is trapped in a Christmas tree worm, it is transported into the worm's mouth. The radials are also commonly referred to as gills because they are used for respiration. The calcareous tube that the worm secretes around its body serves as its home and protection. Christmas tree worms are widely distributed around the world's tropical oceans in areas ranging from the Caribbean Sea to the Indo-Pacific. They are sedentary filter feeders that typically inhabit coral reefs. Number 3. The Pink See-Through Fantasia The Pink See-Through Fantasia, also known as the Pink Swimming Sea Cucumber, was discovered in 2007 in a remote part of the Western Pacific Ocean called the Celebes Sea. It was found by a team of scientists and underwater photographers at a depth of 8,200 feet. The research expedition was formed by experts from the National Geographic Society, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the WHOI Ocean Life Institute. They determined that this incredible creature is a type of sea cucumber that uses the web swimming structures at the front and back of its body to swim up the ocean floor. It has the ability of traveling over 3,200 feet up the water column. This helps the see-through Fantasia avoid predators and find new feeding grounds. One of its most distinct features is that its intestines, anus, and mouth are all visible from the outside. The pink see-through Fantasia is a bioluminescent creature capable of producing light. It uses this ability to alarm potential predators whenever in danger. Number 2. The Blobfish 
Based on photographs from decompressed species, this creature was voted the world's ugliest animal in September of 2013. Its low density flesh means that the blobfish looks differently when it's out of water. They typically live at depths of 2,000 to 4,000 feet below. The pressure in these deep sea areas may be up to 120 times greater than that at sea level. The flesh of the blobfish is a gelatinous mass only only slightly less denser than water, which enables it to float above the ocean floor without wasting energy on swimming. It may be found in the deep waters off the coast of Tasmania and mainland Australia, also in the waters of New Zealand. The relative lack of muscle mass does not hinder its ability to feed, as it mainly swallows deep ocean crustaceans and other edible matter that floats in front of it. Number 1. The Ocean Sunfish the common mola, also known as the ocean sunfish, is the heaviest known bony fish in the world, with an average weight ranging from 545 to over 2,000 pounds. From fin to fin, a mature sunfish commonly measures from 6 to 8 feet in length. Larger specimens have been known to measure 14 feet across and the fins weigh up to 5,100 pounds. Its body is flattened laterally, somewhat resistant resembling a fish head with a tail. When its ventral and dorsal fins are extended, the sunfish can be as tall as it is long. Its diet mainly consists of jellyfish, which it eats in large amounts so that it can maintain its bulk. Even though the sunfish has evolved from bony ancestors, its skeleton is mainly composed of cartilaginous tissue, which is lighter than bone, thus allowing the sunfish to reach proportions that would otherwise be impractical for other bony fish species. They may be found in tropical and temperate waters of every ocean in the world. Early evidence suggests that sunfish mainly drifted with water currents to move around, but further tracking reveals that some individuals had to swim up to 16 miles a day of top speeds of 2 miles per hour. Much like its name would indicate, ocean sunfish spend a portion of their time basking in the sunlight at the surface, but most of their lives are spent at the depths of over 660 feet in the epipelagic and mesopelagic zones. Female sunfish may produce up to 300 million eggs more than any other vertebrate known to man. Despite their large size, ocean sunfish are docile creatures that do not represent a threat to swimmers. In fact, in some regions of the world, particularly Japan and Taiwan, their flesh is considered a delicacy. Chef use every part of the sunfish in the preparation of various dishes from internal organs to the fins. Because they contain toxins that might be harmful to humans, their distribution of fishery products derived from sunfish is not permitted in the European Union. It is as aggressive as it is common. The tiger shark, also known as the garbage can of the sea for its less than picky appetite. It will eat anything, including people, so an unlucky encounter with a tiger shark could be your last. Tiger sharks are the fourth biggest shark. At three and a half to four and a half meters long, 